rectangular prism has a length of 12 centimeters, a width of 6 centimeters, and a height of 13 centimeters. Determine the surface area. A rectangular prism is a three-dimensional object or solid that has six faces that are rectangles. The surface area is equal to the number of square units it takes to cover the outside of the rectangular prism. And because there are six faces, to determine the surface area, we need to determine the sum of the area of these six faces. The surface area is given by the formula S equals two times the length times the height plus two times the length times the width plus two times the width times the height. Two times the length times the height gives us the area of the front face and back face. Two times the length times the width gives us the area of the bottom and top face and two times the width times the height gives us the area of the right face and the left face, which is the reason why this sum gives us the area of the six faces, which is the surface area of the rectangular prism. Going back to our problem, the length is 12 centimeters, the width is six centimeters, and the height is 13 centimeters, which means the surface area S is equal to Again, two times the length times the height is two times 12 centimeters times 13 centimeters plus two times the length times the width is two times 12 centimeters times six centimeters plus two times the width times the height is two times six centimeters times 13 centimeters. Notice how I did leave the units on the length, width, and height. This emphasizes the units of the surface area. Notice centimeters times centimeters is square centimeters, which will be the units for the surface area. However, we often leave the units off until the very end and write the surface area as S equals two times 12 times 13 plus two times 12 times six plus two times six times 13. The next step is to determine the products from left to right. Two times 12 is 24, and now we need to find 24 times 13. First multiply by three, three times four is 12. Record the two, perform an exchange with the one. Next we have three times two plus one, which is seven. Before multiplying by the one, we record a zero in the one's place value. And now we have one times four, which is four, and one times two, which is two. And now we add two plus zero is two. Seven plus four is 11. Record the one, perform an exchange. One plus two is three. The first product is 312. And then we have plus two times 12 is 24. 24 times six is 144 which if we need to, we can check. Six times four is 24. Record the four, perform an exchange with the two. Six times two is 12, plus two is 14, giving us 144. And then we have plus two times six is 12. 12 times 13 is 156, which if we need to, we can check. Multiplying by three, three times two is six, three times one is three. Record a zero below the six. One times two is two, one times one is one, which does give us 156. The last step is to determine the sum. The surface area S equals 312 plus 144 plus 156, which equals 612. And again, the units are square centimeters. Of course, if we need to, we can check the sum. giving us a sum of 612. So we know the surface area is now 612 square centimeters, which means it would take 612 square centimeters to cover the outside of the rectangular prism. Let's also write the result as a complete sentence. The rectangular prism has a surface area of 612 square centimeters.
I hope you found this helpful.